Bonjour à la classe. Today we're learning about le subjonctif passé or the past subjunctive. We have already learned le subjonctif au présent. And actually, le subjonctif au présent is also used for le subjonctif au futur. So whether you're talking about an action that's happening now or an action that will happen, you're going to use the subjonctif that we've already learned. Really quickly, let's review that there are three requirements for, to use a, the subjonctif. These three requirements will also re apply to le subjonctif passé. So in order to use the subjonctif in a phrase, you are going to have two parts of a sentence. And those two clauses in the sentence must have two different subjects. The subjunctif would appear in the dependent clause, which is the second half of a sentence. And that second half or that first half of the sentence must have a phrase that triggers a part of weirdo. Uh, remember, we have want, emotion, impersonal expressions, requirement, regret, recommendations, doubt, and opinion. And those are the parts of weirdo. We've learned a lot of those phrases already, and those phrases will actually apply to the subjunctif passé as well. In terms of choosing whether you wanted the future or the présent of the subjunctif, it depends on the context. They're conjugated the same way. So the conjugations that we've already learned are for the présent and the future of the subjunctif. If you don't remember what this is all about, go to my website and check out the subjunctif notes. Now we're going to talk about la conjugaison du subjunctif passé. So it has the same three requirements as the subjunctif au présent and au futur. And it's made up of two parts, okay? In order to get the conjugation of the subjunctif passé, you have the conjugation of your auxiliaire and the subjunctif, and you have your participe passé of whatever the action verb is. Here's an example. Mon prof est content que nous ayons fait les devoirs. My teacher is happy that we did the homework. You'll see right here, we've got um, mon prof est content que, okay? That's our phrase that tells us we're going to use a subjunctif. We have two different subjects, mon prof and nous. And then the second half, the second clause in the sentence is nous ayons fait les devoirs, and that's in the second half of the sentence. Um, you'll see, for the subjonctif passé conjugation, we have the conjugation of the auxiliaire. Remember, we can have two different auxiliaires. One would be avoir, and the other would be être. The reason why we used avoir here is because faire is not a van der Tramp verb. Vandertramp verbs are the only verbs that we'll use être as the auxiliaire in any of our tenses. And you'll see my teacher is happy that we did the homework. We did the homework that's in the past because we're using the subjonctif passé. Just to review, our first part is the conjugaison au subjonctif de l'auxiliaire. You see we have j'ai, tu es, il est l'en est, nous ayons, vous ayez, il elle est. Then we have être. Je sois, tu sois, il est l'en soit, nous soyons, vous soyez, il elle soit. Okay, the van der Tramp verbs are the only ones that are going to use être. All the other verbs are going to use avoir. And then the second part is the participe passé of the verb. You'll see for our regular ER, IR, and RE verbs, you take your infinitive, you drop the ending, and this is your ending for the participe passé. So, for example, if we had parler, uh, drop the ER, add an E accent aigu, and we have parler, pronounced the same way. Uh, IR verbs, you drop the IR, add an I, for finir, it would be fini. For RE verbs, you drop the RE, and you add an U. For descendre, we would have descendu. Then here are our really common irregular verbs. Être, the pass, uh, participe passé is été, avoir, eu, faire, fait, vouloir, voulu, pouvoir, pu. Okay, these are not our only irregulars for the participe passé, but these are our really common ones. Make sure that you've memorized the participe passé for all of your verbs, especially the really common irregulars. All right, application. When will we use the subjonctif passé? Right here, you'll see the subjonctif passé is used to indicate that whatever happened in the second part of the sentence actually happened before what happened in the first part of the sentence. For example, we have le professeur est content que nous ayons vu le film. You'll see that the second half of the sentence where we see the subjunctive passé, nous ayons vu le film, we saw the movie, actually happened prior to the professeur being content. So that whatever happened in the second half happened prior to what happens in the first half. Okay? The three requirements for a phrase using the subjunctive also apply for the subjunctive passé. 
And just a couple of rules while we're talking about, you know, which action happened before and which one action happened after. If you have both verbs in the present tense, okay, so the present tense of the indicative and then the uh, subjunctive présent, you're indicating that both of those actions actually happen at the same time. Unlike our prior example, in this case, we have le prof est content que nous voyons le film. That means the teacher is happy that we are currently watching the film. Those actions are happening at the same time because our second verb, our second half of the sentence is in the subjonctif présent. Any time that you have two actions that are happening in the same at the same time, you'll use the subjonctif du présent. You will not use the subjonctif passé. You only use the subjunctive passé if the verb in the second half happened before the verb in the first half. So if you see, if the verb in the first part of the sentence is in the past, you've got to decide if the action in the second part happened before the action in the first. If the actions happen at the same time, you always use the présent of the subjunctif, even if the first verb was in the passé. So we have again that example example that I showed you. Le professeur était content que nous voyions le film. The teacher was happy that we were seeing the movie. Now you're talking about the teacher having been happy. It's a past action. But because watching the movie did not happen before the teacher became happy, the teacher was happy at the same time as the students were watching the movie, you're going to use the présent du subjonctif. This next example shows that the watching the film happened prior to the teacher being happy. Both actions are in the past because the teacher was happy that we had seen the film, but we had seen the film and then she became happy. Now use the présent of the subjunctif when the verb triggering the subjunctif is in the présent and the actions in both clauses take place at the same time. You're also going to use the présent du subjonctif if the verb triggering the subjonctif is in the passé and actions happened both at the same time. The only time you'll use the passé du subjonctif is when the verb triggering the subjonctif is in the present and the action in the second clause happened before the action in the first, or even if the verb triggering the subjonctif is in the passé and the action in the second clause happened before the action in the first. Okay, make sure you've got this all in your notes. We'll do some practice in class tomorrow. Uh, a bientôt.